Do you know in who all people thyroid surgery is advised? If not, then let's learn about that. Namaste. My name is Dr. Tanvi Mayur Patel. I'm an endocrinologist, hormone specialist doctor from Mumbai, India. Now, before I begin this video, one important information. If you want to watch this video in Hindi language, then on the i button and in the description box, there is a link. If you click on that link, then this video will be played in Hindi language for you. अगर आप इस वीडियो को हिंदी भाषा में देखना चाहते हैं, तो ऊपर आई बटन पे और नीचे डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में एक लिंक है। अगर आप उस लिंक पे क्लिक करेंगे, तो इस वीडियो को आप हिंदी भाषा में पाएंगे। So let's continue our today's topic, that is indications for the thyroid surgery. By the way, this is our thyroid surgery series which is going on. In the first video, we spoke about what is a thyroid surgery and what are the different types of the thyroid surgery and the most commonly asked questions by the people. Today, we will learn about in which all people we advise for the thyroid surgery. See, thyroid surgery is one of the very commonly done surgery in the endocrine field. And there are plenty many indications, but the major indications we are going to talk in today's topic. So very first indication is the thyroid cancer. Yes, if you have any kind of a growth or any lump or any nodule, which is proven as a thyroid cancer. Now, how do we prove that? So before doing a surgery, your doctor might have advised you to undergo a certain testing like FNAC, that is a fine needle aspiration cytology, wherein we inject a needle and we aspirate a small amount of a fluid and this fluid we check under the microscope and this cytological evaluation turns out to be a cancer and if you have a other risk factors like that of a cancer and your family history of a cancer in all such situation when we find out that you have a thyroid cancer uh, thyroid surgery is advised Usually in such cases, we advise a total thyroidectomy wherein we are going to remove your entire thyroid gland. So that is the first indication that the thyroid cancer. Second indication is the goiter. Now what is a goiter? Goiter is nothing but an enlargement of your thyroid gland. So if your thyroid gland is enlarged and if this enlargement is not a cancer, then it is called as a goiter. Many a times what happens because the goiter is so large, it looks very ugly and you don't want as a cosmetically. So also we remove for cosmetic reason. Many of the times because this goiter is so large, okay, it causes a lot of discomfort and uncomfortable to the patient. Now what kind of a discomfort can happen? The first discomfort can happen, they are having difficulty in swallowing the food or they are having a difficulty in breathing. Sometimes this goiter, rather than coming out, it grows inward. And this we call it as a retrosternal goiter. So if you have a retrosternal goiter, again, a thyroid surgery is advised. Again, how much is the involvement of the goiter, either a total thyroidectomy or a subtotal or a hemithyroidectomy is advised. The third indication is the Graves disease. Now what is a Graves disease? Graves disease is actually a type of an autoimmune health problem wherein your thyroid gland is working more than the requirement and is producing lot of thyroid hormones. So if you have a Graves disease, then a thyroid surgery is one of the treatment options. However, before we jump on to a surgery, we always advise a patient of another two common modalities of the treatment. The first one is the anti-thyroid drugs or medications. Many times what happens that the patient is not able to take this medicine for some reason. They are having a lot of side effects of the medicine. Sometimes the medication cannot be advised in such cases. Sometimes the medicine is not effective. In all these cases, after the antithyroid medicine, a surgery can be advised. 
Sometimes after stopping the medicine, the patient will have a relapse of the entire health problem again. Again, a thyroid surgery can be considered. Many a times when a patient has a Graves disease, sometimes it creates a problem in the eyes. What we call it is a thyroid eye disease or a Graves ophthalmopathy. In that condition also a thyroid surgery is advised. Many a times what happens that for the hyperthyroidism and a Graves disease, we advise a treatment called as a radioactive iodine therapy. By the way, what is radioactive iodine therapy? I have made a detailed video on that. So you can watch that video to get a full information. So if suppose that you are not a right candidate for the radioactive iodine therapy or you do not wish to undergo radioactive iodine therapy. In that case, again, a thyroid surgery can be considered. Many a times, especially in a woman who wants to conceive very fast and who do not want to take the medicine or do not want to undergo a radioactive iodine therapy, in such women and in a pregnant woman also, a thyroid surgery can be considered. So this is a third indication of the thyroid surgery that is a Graves disease or very laymanly called as a hyperthyroidism. Another indication is called as a toxic multinodular goiter. What is this? See multi means many. Okay. Nodule means small small nodules there are plenty many nodules and when you have an enlargement of the thyroid gland that's a goiter which has a many small small nodules we call it as a multinodular goiter and sometimes inside this multinodular goiter there can be one or two nodules which is hyperfunctional and they are secreting more hormones so if you have a toxic multinodular goiter again the surgery can be considered Similarly, we have a one other condition called as a toxic adenoma wherein there is a growth of the thyroid gland which is secreting this excess of the thyroid hormone. Again, thyroid surgery can be considered. Another very important indication of the surgery is the thyroid nodules. Now, what are these nodules? These thyroid nodules are usually one or two in number and they are present in your thyroid gland. And if we have a single nodule which looks suspicious that of a cancer, we advise a surgery. Again, before a surgery, a FNSE test will be performed. Or many a times when we have a doubt that this can be a surgery, in those suspicion case, again, we advise a surgery, especially if a person is a very young or if the person is very old and is having other family history of a thyroid cancer. In such kind of a scenario also, thyroid surgery can be advised. So we saw today who all are the candidate for the thyroid surgery. If your doctor has advised you a thyroid surgery, ask your doctor what is the reason, what is the indication of your thyroid surgery. And if a thyroid surgery is advised, please do not hesitate and please follow your doctor's advice because your doctor knows your medical case in detail. I hope after watching this video, you got some good useful information. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe so that you will get more and more health related information. And if you have any of your personal question pertaining to your thyroid health, don't forget to write in the comment box. I try to answer them as early as I can. And then there is a bell icon. If you press on the bell icon, as in when my new video will be published, you will get an instant notification. And by the way, our thyroid surgery series does not end here. I have made a, plenty many videos on this series so that you get a detailed information so you can take a right decision before actually undergoing for a surgery. Take care of yourself. Namaste.